Hey guys, uh, so I'm disheveled. I just got home from work. Um, but I picked up a package from the package room here at the uh, apartment complex. And uh, I thought I might as well open it here. It's already open, but you know, take things out. Let's see what I ordered because it's really random. It's random stuff that I've been wanting that I ordered simply because my Amazon Prime membership was ending and I didn't even hardly use it at all. And the main reason I, I got Amazon Prime for the past month was because I needed to order something for a trip and I needed it to get here like right away. So uh, so I had to get take advantage of the shipping, the free shipping, the free like two day shipping, which still took a long time. <laughs> and uh, I, um, so the month was gonna end and I was like, I, I wanna get something fast <laughs> i want to enjoy that two-day shipping and actually it's like one day shipping if you order like 35 dollars worth of stuff on amazon prime so i actually ordered this stuff last night and or yeah it was like yeah it was yesterday evening and uh it's it just it got here today so that's that's pretty cool that's if you order from amazon a lot i can see the benefit of that I do order from Amazon a lot, but then sometimes I go a whole month without without ordering. So paying monthly for something like that, even though it's just ten bucks, I, I mean for me that's still that still counts for something. So so I I just anyway last night I just ordered a few things just to take advantage of the shipping a second time because that's all I use Prime for. So I don't for me personally at the moment. With my limited income don't really see prime as a really necessary thing but when i order something i really wish i had it because it takes forever now that they have prime they take forever to ship stuff if you don't have prime and amazon used to be fast so that's really annoying but anyway let's see what i got let's see what i ordered just random stuff that i've been wanting um this one was totally random and I ordered I ordered this one because it was on my wish list with like a bazillion other things but I ordered it because it was only five dollars and I did want it and uh, at the point you know I was like thirty dollars and I was at the thirty dollar point and I needed five more bucks to like get that next day shipping so I was like okay so I ordered this it's Princess Leia Wobbler Funko Wobbler and the reason I wanted this one, I mean, I love Princess Leia, I love Star Wars, and it's classic, A New Hope Leia, which is actually my favorite Leia. I mean, I get the whole gold bikini thing. For me, put the gold bikini thing on A New Hope Leia. That's what I want. <laughs> but uh, I have uh, Jyn Erso, as you know, I'm obsessed with Jyn Erso. So, and I really like, I think these are way cuter than the uh, Funko Pop. Cause, you know the Funko Pop have and they're cute but they've got just these like black dot eyes and I like these big doughy eyes or cartoony eyes so yeah I went ahead I mean five dollars that's pretty cool and I was thinking you know if they come out with Padme Amidala I'm gonna want a whole set of these you know and I like Ray too I, I like the other three I like Jin, Leia and Padme more but I do like Ray a lot so yeah I, I'd like to have like the whole lineup and like I said, I like these better than the pop figures. They're really cute. I've never really been into bobbles, but these ones are very cute. And they make them from other for other characters. There's a Batgirl one I really like. I do want to get that one. And keeping my eyes out, see what other cute girl characters they come up with. So yeah, I, I got that one. What else? There's uh, three more things in here. This was the big draw for me. Because I'm collecting these and I kind of need all of them because they build this huge diorama that's really awesome uh, but you have to get them all and <laughs> and I love them but I just hadn't bought one in a while they're not super cheap they're they're not the most expensive action figures I collect but <laughs> at, at least they're big and <laughs> the big package and everything is really nice uh, this is Janine Melnitz from my staff. <laughs> this is uh, this is Janine Melnitz, the action figure from Ghostbusters. 
Uh, this is from Diamond Select Toys. If you uh, collect all the figures in this line, there's a diorama right there that you can build. This is pretty old news because this, the whole like, there's 15 figures in this line and they're almost all out there already. There's like, I think there's like three more they haven't released. And technically one of those is the Terror Dog. So, or uh, is that what they're called, Terror Dogs? I think so. It's been a while since I <laughs> boned up on my Ghostbusters lore, but you kind of have to buy two of those. So. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, uh, I am pretty close to having the complete set. I'm, I'm, I'm one, two, three, four, five, six. This is my set. No, this is my eighth. So I'm I'm more than halfway there. No, I am halfway there because you got to buy two terror dogs. Okay, I'm I'm halfway there. Uh, it's not too good actually. Now that I think about it, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm excited to get this. But you got to be careful where you buy these because some places it, Toys R Us does not have the diorama pieces. So if you only want a few characters, then it's fine to get them at Toys R Us. But I also have seen uh, at um, GameStop they had the Slimer without the diorama pieces so you really gotta check you know um, when I order on Amazon I always read the description and make sure it mentions the diorama piece uh, I've gotten a few from Amazon I've gotten a few at GameStop that did have the pieces um, and I think I got one at the local comic shop uh, Dragon's Lair so anyway this was the big one and it was a better deal it was kinda discounted because that one's been out for a while. And if I had bought it in the store, it would have been full price. Now, this one I did also get just because it was $5. I, I wanted to collect all of these. These are Suicide Squad action figures. This is uh, Captain Boomerang. And it's, he's not like a favorite character or anything. I have, I mean, I like the character, but I had, um, I have Harley and Joker. And I really wanted a whole of the characters, but uh, I haven't really... There's one that is like, it costs like a couple hundred bucks now just because they didn't release very many of them. They did at first at Walmart. You could find everybody like before the movie came out. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden, all you could find anywhere, and this was so annoying, all you could find after the movie came out uh, was um, Will Smith's character, Deadshot. And... Harley Quinn, and and Batman, and uh, and that was pretty much it. And now, now I'm starting to see some of the other characters, but the uh, the character uh, Diablo, I believe, that one is worth like a couple hundred bucks. Right. Well, that's how much people are selling it for on like eBay and Amazon and whatever, because uh, it's just so hard to find. What, what annoys me is I did see it like a, a month ago at a uh, Toys R Us or a Target or something, but I was broke at the time. <laughs> oh, I should have got that. But um, I think it was broke at the time. At any rate, for some reason I chose not to get it. But yeah, so I only have three of these so far, but $5 is an amazing deal because even though you would think these would be really deep clearance already, they're not. They're still regular price at most places. I have seen... I think I've seen Deadshot a little discounted some places. And I, I haven't gotten him yet because it wasn't like much of a discount. But uh, I do need to get Deadshot and Katana. I've seen her. I'm starting to see her around just, just now. Um, and then there's uh, Rick Flag. I've seen Rick Flag around lately. Um, when they first came out, like I said, when I fir they first came out, they had them all at Walmart except for the Joker. And the Joker now is like one of the easiest ones to get. That's another one that, yeah, I, I do see the Joker around a lot now. And I have the basic Joker. I don't have this. I thought this one was going to be pretty rare, but it's not really the one with the purple coat. But anyway, yeah, this is Captain Boomerang. And uh, pretty good deal, $5. So, like I said, it's really random stuff. So far, it's all toys. The next one is a Blu-ray. Um... And you're going to have to let me explain why I ordered this. <laughs> this is Mirror Mirror. Um, it is a Snow White movie that I think came out the same year as the 
the one with her name is escaping me from Twilight, Bella Swan, <laughs> um, Chris, Kristen Stewart. Okay, I think this came out like the same year as the Kristen Stewart one. I could be wrong, but this is the one with um, Phil Collins' daughter, and I, I heard uh, Lily Lily Collins, who I think is one of the most beautiful uh, actresses out there. Uh, right now, um, but I don't see her in too many movies. Um, but yeah, amazing job making a girl, Phil Collins. Good job. <laughs> she's totally gorgeous. Um, now, and I'll be honest, she's the reason I, I bought this movie. I remember going to see this in theaters. Now, there's two reasons. One is because I think she's drop dead gorgeous. The other reason is because I love fairy tales. I'm a huge Disney fan. And I'm just a huge fairy tale fan, and so I kind of like want every like movie of, about fairy tales that I can find. And uh, so, I mean, there was no getting around it. But uh, I don't remember this one being particularly good. <laughs> I remember seeing it one time in theaters. It's a musical, if I remember correctly, and it's really, it's really cheesy. <laughs> I, and I'll be honest, I've never been a Julia Roberts fan. I'm sure she's an okay person. I would totally go out with her niece, but <laughs> but uh, I've never been a fan. <laughs> um, and I I love Tinkerbell, so I was never too happy with her being Tinkerbell in the movie Hook. But I still love the movie Hook. It's a great movie. Come on, bangerang. But anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, so this is Mirror Mirror, and it's on Blu-ray, and I've been wanting it for a long time because. It's never in stores. You never see it in stores. You see it on DVD in stores, but you never see it on Blu-ray. This was probably probably ten dollars, I think, or twelve. Anyway, so that was my Amazon unboxing today. Um, just random stuff that I've been wanting for a while. And to be honest, there's so many things on my wish list in Amazon. I don't know how I chose. <laughs> I know that I, I mean, well, it was just, like I say, it was just random. I, except for Janine, I, I, I was mainly, I had been thinking, I, I really need to get that Janine because I'm falling behind on these. Because they are about to start releasing some from Ghostbusters 2. And I love Ghostbusters 2 also. I mean, I'm a fan. Um, and, uh, and I want to get those. And they're going to build a whole separate, a whole new diorama, a different one. Uh, part of the firehouse, but... I'm more excited for this diorama. I do want to get a Ghostbusters Firehouse, though. I want the animated series 1980s Ghostbusters Firehouse. I used to always want that as a kid, and I never got it. I got to go on eBay yeah, at some I point. I almost forgot. Um, this was not from the box, but I just picked this up at Toys R Us uh, on uh, I-35 here in North Austin. From the very cute Toys R Us cashier lady. This is... Uh, this is the Yellow Ranger from the Power Rangers movie. Um, goes with the Pink Ranger I already have. I've been collecting these. I've only been collecting the girls. And Toys R Us is the only place that gets the, one from, the ones from the movies uh, of this legacy variety. They get, you can get the legacy Power Rangers from the TV shows just about anywhere, but you can't get the movie ones anywhere else except Toys R Us. And uh, it seemed like they weren't gonna order anymore, but all of a sudden they did have some more, so. Now I've got the two girls from this. I would collect like the full sets, uh, even though I'm not a huge Power Rangers person, but I just can't afford it. I mean, they're not super cheap, but I, I love Power Ranger girls. So <laughs> so yeah, finally got the yellow one. I'm happy, I'm gonna open this up. I already opened half the stuff I just showed you. <laughs> okay, so here's what's going on right now, guys. Um, I posted the first half of the New Orleans trip. I'm gonna try to edit the second half uh, in the next couple days and um, I have uh, a product review from amazon.com I'll probably post and I am gonna do a big haul video much bigger than this one for my birthday that just happened because I got a lot of presents for my birthday unexpectedly but it always seems to happen my uh, mother and my sister and I, they just they give me a lot of presents my other sister too sent me a present so Yay, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a big haul video. It's very cool stuff. And I'll show you my new camera there, which I haven't started using yet for YouTube yet. 
there are a few things that I used it for in the New Orleans uh, video, I think. Um, I used it for photos sometimes, and I also use my phone. Uh, I think I might have done some video shooting on the trip with the new camera, but we'll see. But it's a Canon T6i. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show a bunch of stuff when I do that haul video. This room is a mess. I have to clean this room so I can put that stuff somewhere once I start, you know, going through it and showing it. So that haul video is coming. The rest of the NOLA trip is coming. Uh, what else? I previously talked about some some movies that I wanted to do reviews on and it so much time has passed I still might not do that but I might some of them I, I will I'm sure um, you know sometimes people are like eh, it's the movie's been out for a few days what's the point of doing the review it's not really relevant it is I mean people want to know whether or not to buy it on DVD or blu-ray people want to know whether or not to bother on Netflix you know it there's there's no time that it's too late to do a movie review so uh, you know, I might do some some retroactive ones. <laughs> I've done it before. Um, as far as oh, uh, last night, last night I saw Guardians of the Galaxy, so I will try to post a review maybe today. The thing is, yeah, last night was Thursday night, the first night that it was out in theaters, and uh, I'm going again tonight. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Part Two, of course, Volume Two. Um, I highly recommend it just if you want the 10 peso version just go see it it's amazing uh, but I'm gonna talk more thoroughly about it soon here uh, maybe right now I don't know <laughs> okay um, so that's it I think unless I'm forgetting something um, I really need to update my website I haven't touched my website for probably a year again it, it's it's almost like I'm just paying it for it and forgetting about it every every year but I gotta bring my comic strip back I gotta do a lot of stuff I gotta um, I got two more items also that I'm gonna I'm gonna do little videos on. Uh, I've been doing those videos on my uh, ornament collection for the new Disney sketchbook ornaments that are coming out of the DisneyStore.com. I've got two more that I haven't done a video for, so I'll probably do. I might combine them. I might do two separate videos. I don't know. And uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, Watch for more videos, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this was not a very spectacular, this was just a rush last minute. I didn't even know I was gonna make this video. So it's, if my other videos are nothing special, this one was really nothing special. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll be back guys. Uh, thanks for watching.